Today I'm getting a fit by Martin from Forward Motion Fits. Let's see how it goes. I am excited. So yeah, then I'm thinking, so I may as well just use that as a gravel bike. It's, it's this too. Because it looks more like a road bike, but I think if you look at it. Yeah. So I'm, I mean... Then, so everybody has like some sort of, I mean, most people I assume are not balanced, balanced right? So for me in particular, what were my balance problems? Oh, honestly, the, the bicycle itself is a very symmetrical machine. The yeah. only thing that's making it complicated is the human body. So tamig tayo po yung tamig yung katawan. And after looking at you, um, I'm seeing a lot of tightness in your body, especially in the hip area, okay? Uh, and then, in terms of symmetry issues, I'm expecting you to lean more on the left than the right, because that's what, it, what, what I saw during the assessment. But I still have to see how you pedal to ah, okay. further know what I need to do and to go have a deeper understanding on how your body moves on the bicycle. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a bit of stability issue when you pedal. At the same time, a bit of a lateral movement on the knee when you pedal. Okay. Hopefully, I'm wrong, okay? Oh, well, you're probably right. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm wrong. <laughs> so, you will see. Basing in your lower back assessment, uh, uh, hopefully, it's, it's not the same as when I told you to reach for your toes, that you're having a hard time reaching for it. So, for some, they are very good on in terms of mobility on the bike. Okay, I mean, they could easily bend, roll forward their hip and reach for the handlebars and go even lower. But for some people, what I see during the assessment is how they really ride the bicycle. Hmm. But not all the time, okay? That's why I wanted to see first how you pedal to uh, get a further understanding. Okay. I'm a bit uh, excited and a bit nervous. <laughs> okay. So, what did you say so like, um so there's too much load in front right now. Yeah, it's like a, your your foot was like this. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna try a test, okay? Add some drops. And some more drops. Yeah. Good. Go straight. Go heavier. Heavy. Yeah. Heavier. Good. Like this. And go like this. Go. Falling. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> You're falling, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's ah. start working again. Okay, I'm gonna work on it. Off the bike. But yeah, but like I ran Claris for a long time. I like it. You know why? So my worry is like, so for example, huh? If somebody, let's say somebody borrows the bike and then markers, then they give you measurements. Ah, wow, well, okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Number one rule once you get fit, don't let the bike. Well, yeah. Don't just, let anyone use the bike. I'm generous. I don't have any my bike to select it, right? Oh my god, please don't do that. Not this bike, the other bike. <laughs> okay, bike. I want to ride with it. <laughs> I guess that will be the thing, so the other bike will be the one that I then not the bike. Mm -hmm. Pass it straight. Pass it forward too. How's that feel? Good. Good straight. I don't, yeah, at this point, I can't tell uh, that much. When you first saw me on the bike, yes. what were your initial um, uh, impressions? Because like, oh yeah, go again, you. Uh, initial, I, in terms uh, of the fit. Uh, usually when you see someone on the bike, you know who's been riding for a long time and you know who's been, who's someone who's just new on the bicycle basing on how they pedal, how they put their foot, their shoulder, their hands. In your case, you may be tight in terms of mobility, flexibility, you have limitations. But when you ride the bike, I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, because you're, like I said earlier, you, you pedal somehow more stable. 
that I was expecting. I was expecting you to be all over the place, but no. You have a good control of your foot every time you pedal, especially on the downstroke. And the way you position your shoulder and your hands, it's someone who has um, experience riding the bicycle already. So for me, fitting you on the bike is somehow, it's in the easier part. It's not really hard. Ah, okay. I just hope, cross your fingers now, I'm doing my best to fit you on what you currently have on the bike, hoping na it's not gonna ask for a longer step. Oh yeah, I'm also hoping. <laughs> yeah, we are both hoping for that because I don't want you to spend so much on the bike, okay? But like, I was, I was a bit, uh, was I a bit tight? It was a. Uh, I mean, what cramp was? Did it look cramp? You, earlier, you looked like tukod. You, you know what I mean? Like, parang the saddle's too high, you're too far forward, and tilted down. Parang your your body's fighting to stabilize your position in the bike instead of it focusing just pedaling smoothly. Parang there's unwanted movement that your body's going like this and moving back. You, 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 your body, your body wants to fall forward. And your core and your 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 upper arm is preventing you from doing that, so it's eating up more energy. Parang if you tell me, parang inipit ka, mm. and that's why I'm doing is I'm trying to open up your body, so you can breathe better, and stretch you up, para you get to uh, balance your weight distribution, weight distribution much more, much better on the bicycle, and we get to activate muscle groups that are supposed to be firing, and turn off muscle groups that shouldn't be working on the bicycle. Yeah, yeah. That's also what I felt. Like the I didn't realize I felt cramp until yeah. you moved everything, and yeah. then all of a sudden, but wow! It, yeah, it was a big difference. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So, thanks, man. See you next. Next. Stand. Sit down here. Yeah. Here we go. Do you find that, like, let's say you fit the guy five years ago, I, I guess it has to change, right? So five years yes, ago? Yes, even six months from now. Oh, yeah? You guys keep riding like this, the correct posture, position, time will come, your body will be asking for a longer step. Oh, you think so? Yes. Uh, just because like my body is just being able to get into that lower yes. position even and that, better. And you'll ask for more. Okay. Even three, four months time, you can see improvement in your body. Fit is never permanent. It changes. So it's uh, in a case like that. You still go through this whole process? No. If you only repeat the alignment every two, three years. Ah, okay. okay. Or un uh, unless you had, you got into a heavy crash, you broke bones, you got into, you had this severe disease, sickness. Yeah, and then that's the only time we have to recheck the uh -huh. separate nervous system again, the body alignment. But most of the time, it's not, it doesn't take that much long. Uh, not unless you broke over and like you broke a lot of bones. It's really a repeat the whole process, except the interview. Mm. Yeah. But like one year, six months, almost two years, so check up on it. And then similar to this, it's like little uh, changes here and the yes. test, changes yes. here and the test again. Or sometimes you can see it. Because you have idea kana on how to pedal the rider pedals and how they want. You can see the body talks to you on how they want to be positioned mm. in the bike. And I suppose it also goes the other way, where yeah, if you stop, it just works. Like when I was when I used to ride back in the day, I was all snapped. Uh, I have four, three, three, four centimeters. So oh, yeah, search is not going to go anymore.
like a workout. Yeah. Just finished the fit with Martin and I gotta say I am very excited to go on a ride tomorrow. He said that uh, I should expect some little bits of discomfort for the first few rides or the first ride, whatever it was, just because your body is getting used to it. So he told me not to go up a very steep hill but I mean let's face it, we live in Cebu City so there's, it's steep everywhere. So I'm gonna probably go up a steep hill <laughs> tomorrow. But I was very impressed with how meticulous he was and how he does not rush the fit at all. I think we started at around five o'clock and it is, it is 10 o'clock in the evening. I am usually asleep at this time. I have not had dinner. He has not had dinner either. And he's fitting more people up there. It's crazy. The work ethic is crazy. So when I first got onto the bike, I was pedaling like my normal, you know, when the, the way my bike fit when I brought it in. And then as he saw me pedal. A couple of minutes later, did a f just very small changes right away. And then it felt so much better right away. Like I didn't realize that I was feeling cramp until he changed the the position a little bit and I was like oh wow this feels so much better it felt a lot more like I had a lot more space like my chest could breathe and then I started getting into like an arrow position and uh, normally I would I would do that on the bike and I would I wouldn't normally be able to stay in that position very long because it would feel uncomfortable but I suspect that Given some time, I'm going to be able to stay in that position longer just because of the new fit. So I am very excited. Martin, if you're watching this, you're probably not. But thank you so much. I'm excited to go on a bike. Go on a bike ride tomorrow. I'll let you know how it goes. No boring days. Please subscribe.